Episode two in our $5 recipe September series starts right now. Look at you back here at Annie's Smoking Pot. I, of course, am Annie. This is my tiny kitchen, and I'm glad you decided to join me today to cook yet another $5 recipe for the month of September. Today, we're gonna make sloppy joes. And did you know you can make them homemade for under $5? Got some buns toasting, so while those are doing their thing, let's get to some slicing. A onion right here that we're gonna put in. Sloppy Joes have small bites, so you wanna make sure and dice this up really finely. Be sure to keep an eye on those buns because we don't want them to burn. We just wanna get a nice light toasting on them. I just added just a little bit of oil to the pan to help them along. Now, in this recipe, we're also gonna use a little bit of green pepper, and just like the onion, you wanna make sure and just chop this up into tiny, tiny little diced pieces pieces. Be sure to stay till the end of this video. At the end, I'm gonna give you a cost breakdown of how much this meal cost. All I'm gonna tell you right now is it's under $5, but we're not sacrificing flavor. Just because you're trying to save money doesn't mean you need to sacrifice. That is a great dice on there. I bet you anything those buns are done. Oh, see, just like that, nice little Ooh, toastiness on those buns right there. Very hot. Now that our buns are nicely toasted, let's go ahead and get the Sloppy Joes going. Sloppy Joes, slop, Sloppy Joes. You can't not sing, you can't. Not when it's Sloppy Joes. I am using an 80-20 blend of beef for this recipe. It's what was on sale when I made my purchases for the month of September. I did a lot of bulk shopping. It will help you to save money. Right now, I'm gonna show you a trick. Potato masher is an amazing tool for breaking down the beef. Once that beef is all chopped up like that, we're gonna go ahead and add our onions and our peppers. Right on in there. I don't know about you, but I think Sloppy Joes are almost like a nostalgic food. I grew up on Sloppy Joes. You know, when times are tight and you just don't have a lot in your food budget, Sloppy Joes always seem to be a go-to in my family growing up. I don't know if it's an American thing. Do you call them Sloppy Joes if they are a global thing? What do you call them, messy burgers? <laughs> Let's go ahead and get some seasons going so that those can cook through. We're just doing a little salt and pepper, just a couple pinches, and we have got some chili powder some garlic paste. Oh gosh, it already smells really good. Mmm, delicious. I hope you've liked this episode so far. If you have, be sure to give it a good thumbs up, a good thumbs up. See, there I go again. There's no such thing as a bad thumbs up. That would be a thumbs down. Please don't give it a thumbs down. Thumbs up, heads up, seven up. Sloppy Joe's, slop, sloppy Joe's. Next, add the rest of our ingredients. We have got, this is part washer sister sauce and part liquid smoke. That is what gives your sloppy Joe's a little bit of a beefy, smoky umami, if you will. I know my husband hates that word, umami. Brown sugar. I'm gonna use my hands though to kind of break it up a bit. Ketchup. Right? Crazy, huh? Catch up. Cats up, catch up, catch them up. And crushed tomatoes. You can use diced tomatoes if you want your uh, Sloppy Joe's a little chunkier. You can also use tomato puree if you can't find crushed tomatoes. We'll mix all that in. You know what? I am cooking for two. What I am doing right now is essentially putting together recipes for $5 or less to feed two people. This could easily feed your whole family of four. My husband and I are gonna have leftovers, which we love. Keep an eye on it to make sure it doesn't go splee splat, splee splat, splee splat. But we're gonna let this cook for about five minutes just to kind of thicken up a little bit, reduce down a bit, and that's it. Sloppy Joe's, woo, see like that. When it does that, Turn your heat down. <laughs> you wanna know my little secret? I have never made Sloppy Joes from scratch, ever. I have always cheated and bought Manwich. Not a sponsor. This is gonna taste better than any canned Manwich I can get, any canned Sloppy Joe mix you can buy. And as you can see, I did add some onion rings to my plate because I had enough left over in my budget to do it and still stay under that $5 mark. And it is thick, delicious, and I'm gonna have plenty left over to make two more up. So that's two servings 
and we're gonna have leftovers sloppy joes sloppy annies whatever you want to call them just call them delicious Slop. sloppy joes slop sloppy joes okay i'm gonna give you the breakdown before i dig into this because it's a little hot for this entire meal ground beef came in at two dollars and 41 cents onion was 16 cents green pepper was 48 cents the can of crushed tomatoes was 76 cents and the buns were 32 cents plus 75 cents right there so all together that comes in at four dollars and 88 cents you know what don't sacrifice flavor for cost just don't but you know what I'm gonna take a bite now because I cannot handle the smell oh wow mm. I just want to keep going mm. Mm -mm -mm. I will never buy canned sandwich again the liquid smoke the washer sister sauce it's absolutely brilliant as always in the description below is the full recipe plus the cost breakdown that I gave you as always thank you so much for joining me here at Annie's Smoking Pot and until next time bye do try that. Just take a bite. Take a bite. <laughs>